Hey everybody, Happy New Year. It's Vicki back with the Lavinia World Video Design Team. And today I'm gonna share with you how I made a card that I actually blogged about on our last uh, challenge in our Lavinia World uh, group. So be sure to check that out for lots of inspiration as well. I just love this card, so I thought I would show you how I did it. Seems like stencils have um, kind of reemerged after I hadn't seen them being used in quite a while. So I dug deep in my stash, but we do have a fantastic new line of Lavinia stencils on the Lavinia World website. So be sure to check those out. But I just wanted to show you the depth that you can create with a card. On this one, I used the new fox. His name is Gideon, super sweet. And then I used the ducks. And I did create kind of the halo moon that we all like to make. But for our card today, I'm not gonna do that. I feel like with this background, it's kind of out of place. And we are going to use two different stamps. But it's a super easy card. It's gonna make a great uh, note card set for um, somebody special throughout the year. And um, I wanted to share that with you. So let's get started. I have pre-prepped, I've laid out um, a hexagon shaped uh, stencil that I had in my stash. And I've kind of uh, layered it, uh, gone ahead and put the piece of paper in there where I want it to be. I like this one because I can kind of go all the way across the middle of my page and not lose it. And I'm only going to use two colors of ink. I'm going to use the Distressed Ink from Tim Holtz, uh, which is the Squeezed Lemonade. And then I am going to use the Picked Raspberry. But you could really do any combination of colors that you want. You could even do a rainbow. You could do a gray scale. Um, but I've just seen so many um, projects lately where people have used the stencil and I really love the depth that the background gives, especially with the Lavinia stamps because they're silhouettes. So I have already inked them up. Well, not inked them up, but I've placed uh, Jlar and Christopher the Caterpillar. That's who we're going to use today. But let's go ahead and start our stencil work so that we can get the color on this and stamp those. And then we're going to use a little bit of um, silver liquid pearls. Actually, I'm sorry, this is the pewter. I just think it gives it um, just a little bit of whimsy to it. I was going to use pink, but my pink is uh, redder than it is pink, and it looked funny. So I'm using my brush, my makeup brush. I like the texture and the way they glide. And I'm going to start in the middle of the picture. And I want it to be not necessarily heavy, but I don't care in this regard that my hand is heavy. So there's no need to start off of the paper because um, each hexagon is going to have just a little bit different color um, as the brush touches it. So I've got my yellow down. Let me lift this up so you can see. I'm going to move that off to the side. And I didn't color it all yellow. I could have, but I want the pink to be prominent also. So, pink brush. And I'm actually going to start on the edges of the yellow. Not right in the center, but on the outside. Because it's going to give it a little bit of a melony orange color. And it's super pretty. And then on the outsides, I'm going to do just the pink. Should have taped this down on two, both sides, but then it makes it harder to slip the paper in and out of. And then I'll ink it again, and I'm going back to these edges here. And this works for, uh, you know, any stencil that you have. You know, play around with them, get that full effect. I'm going to do a little more. There we go. And you can see now we've actually got um, some orange. Actually, it's more of a melon color because of the two colors that we kind of uh, blended together. Almost looks like a color wheel. It's so pretty. And because these colors are so bright and vibrant, wait till you see how they stamp um, once you add the black to it. So I'm going to turn it around. I'll put this in here for you. I did just ink up my black pad, so hopefully we're going to get some nice impressions first try. Again, I'm using Jlar, um, who is a squatting fairy, I guess you would say. Um, she's fun to work with. Um, lots of details in her wings. And uh, then Christopher the caterpillar with his fuzzy little hair and, 
It might be kind of fun. You could even put um, a little bit of a glitter in, in his, um, I guess they're called hairs, on his um, body there. Let me move this. Okay. So I'm just going to stamp them. I want to give them a good press. I have the worst trouble with JLAR for whatever reason. I almost always double stamp her. If I have to do it twice, I'm hoping we won't. So I'm really going to just let this ink set into the paper for a quick second. Okay, fingers crossed. We're good. I really want to do her body, but I think I'm going to be really sorry. So let's give it a try. Okay, fingers crossed. Gonna let that set. It's mostly in her body. We didn't get that coloring that we wanted so much that I love. Awesome. All right, let me move this to the side so I can clean them off. And just look how they pop off that paper. It is almost like a 3D look, and it's really not just the camera. It looks exactly like that when you pull it off. And then... I would mat her or mat this on a black card base. That's my go-to for most because I like the, the framing look of them. And uh, it's just super pretty. I'll probably add a little sentiment. Maybe it's hello friend or just a note. Um, you know, something small that I can put right there in the corner. But it's a super easy card. And then to embellish this, and I'll go ahead and lay this out. We don't need to see the the mat anymore but so I'm gonna take my um, pewter uh, liquid pearls and I'm just gonna put a few kind of in the corners not a lot not too heavy uh, maybe three and a little bit just feel like it gives it just a little something extra and I don't have to waste um, some of my my gems um, make it super easy maybe one let me come around the side one here in the corner, and we'll do one more up here. And I, I'm not worried so much about the um, kind of the, keeping them even because I just want it to be all over. But it looks like little bubbles, or you could use the bubble stamp too, and that would be cute in the black. But anyway, that's my card today. So I pulled out those stencils, the ones that you used when you were first started card making and scrapbooking. And, um, you know, all things paper craft because they're coming back and they do make quite an impression. So, again, Happy New Year from myself and the rest of the team members. We look forward to seeing what you make and uh, sharing with you for this year. Take care. Bye-bye.